the uh, image of the vine was a rich one for the Jews since the uh, land of Israel was covered with uh, numerous vineyards. Um, but it had uh, religious connotations as well. Isaiah spoke of the house of Israel as the vineyard of the Lord. Um, and Jeremiah said that uh, God had planted Israel as his chosen vine. And we can also uh, see how this same symbol of Israel was used as a, a sign of degeneration. Um, Isaiah's prophecy spoke of Israel as a, a vineyard which yielded wild grapes. Um, and Jeremiah said that Israel had become a degenerate and wild vine. Uh, when Jesus calls himself the true vine, he makes it clear that uh, no one can claim their spiritual inheritance through association with a particular uh, people or bloodline. Rather, it is only through Jesus Christ and uh, that, that anyone um, has become grafted into the true vineyard of the Lord. Uh, Jesus offers true life, uh, the abundant life, which comes from God as a result of great uh, fruitfulness. But, you know, let us remember the, uh, the vine becomes fruitful uh, because of the, the vine dresser uh, must carefully prune the vine before it can bear fruit. Uh, you know, vines characteristically have two kinds of branches, um, those which bear fruit and those which do not. Uh, the non-bearing branches must be uh, carefully pruned, and thrown into the fire, uh, they're pruned in order for the vine to conserve its strength and for the, the for the branches that bear good fruit. Um, you know, Jesus used this image to describe uh, the kind of life he produces in those who are united to him. The fruit of uh, righteousness, uh, peace and joy. Jesus says uh, that there can be no fruit in our lives apart from him. And the fruit he speaks of here are the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Um, you know, there's a simple truth here. Um, we're either fruit-bearing branches or non-fruit-bearing branches. Um, there's no in-between. But the uh, bearing of healthy fruit requires drastic pruning, which is always a painful process. Um, but the Lord promises that uh, we will bear much fruit if we abide in him and allow him to purify us. So let us uh, trust the vine dresser's uh, judgment in pruning us so that uh, we will be able to glorify God and bear fruit for his kingdom.